Today, she's a week old. I guess at least at 8.58 p.m. she'll be a week old. I look like this because um, she didn't go to sleep last night until I didn't get to bed until three with her because she was awake in fussy pants. And then I got up at eight to shower and try to put makeup on because we have a newborn photo shoot. I'm really excited because the photos we did with Ashley were, they came out so, so good, but the, it's an hour drive. You have to be there at 10. So I got up at eight. So I actually wanted to like shower and actually dry my hair and actually put on makeup and feel like a human, um, minus the sleep deprivation. <laughs> but yeah, so three to eight, but that was not even like full sleep. That was me still waking up about every 45 minutes to an hour to um, nurse her. Right, Spooky. You are a good boy. Kill them in case they He's so sweet. Anyway, uh, we should go because we're going to be late. Good morning. Job too, but hey, stop that, you two. <laughs> hey, none of that. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you so much, Violet. <laughs> what are you kids doing? Cuteness. 
Give her a kiss. Oh. Oh no. Tummy time times two. Ashley, you're doing so good at your tummy time. Look at you lifting your head. Good job. <laughs> Can you turn it on for her? You guys look so different. Mm -hmm. Did she start crying, baby? Are you checking on her? Yeah. She needs her big brother, huh? Oh, gentle. Are you a doggy? <laughs> You're so funny. You pulled toilet paper off of the toilet roll so that you could be a doggy? You're so silly. It is New Year's Eve. This is the first year I haven't gotten dressed up or gotten you dressed up or done anything. <laughs> I'm a mess. Even though I put on like the smallest amount of makeup, it doesn't help. I'm breaking out. I am exhausted. <laughs> Um, I, it's okay. This year is ending in the most beautiful way possible with little Violet and I am so thankful for her. It's like the best Christmas present. <laughs> Poor thing is gonna have her birthday so close to Christmas, but it's just the best way to end the year. But when I reflect back on the whole year, you know, prior to my entire life changing on December 21st at 8.58 p.m., um, I feel like the entire year was one that I really spent with Asher. Um, pregnancy was hard. There were a lot of ups and downs emotionally for me throughout the year. It was a hard year, but it was like one of the most beautiful years of my life. <sighs> I always cry. And it's not just because I'm postpartum and I wasn't only emotional before because I was pregnant. I am just in innately an emotional person. Spooky. Come here, give me hugs. Look, he's dressed for the occasion. He's got his little, these glow in the dark. You look so handsome. You're the only one dressed up. I just had like a moment, a little private moment with just me and Asher where I told him how I felt, but like I spent the most time with him this year than anybody else. Um, it was a lot of mommy and Asher. If you look back through the vlogs, you'll see. It was literally every day. We spent so much time together. So 2023, even though it ended, you know, so much about Violet and I'm so excited about her and 2024 is gonna be crazy as we figure out our new family of four dynamic. But 2023 was, was mommy and Asher. It was the year of us. And I just hope he knows how much I love him. He's had a little bit of a difficult time adjusting um, I think we're actually getting through it though already. He's, he's already like, he's done like a 180 in the past couple of days. He's been doing really well and he's been sweet to her. And I think, I think, I mean, I'm <laughs> knock on wood. Um, but I think we're, we're taking a turn for the better now. And it's just, it's such a relief because my entire pregnancy, my biggest fear was how he was going to feel. But we just had a picture pop up on our phone from New Year's Eve last year and he's so small and he's grown so much in the last year. I thought I would come home and he would still feel like my little baby, but he's big. He's huge. Time passing is bittersweet. So we're not getting dressed up, <laughs> but ending this year as a family of four is cool. And I'm excited for next year. So we're gonna go downstairs in the basement. I'm gonna drink champagne. I'm gonna have a whole glass <laughs> of champagne. God, I need it. Um, and we're going to uh, watch the ball drop. And that's just this year. <laughs> that's just this year. That's okay. That's pretty perfect to me. Miss Ma'am, are you waking up beautiful? We gotta get a clean diaper. And then I have one little spark. Oh no. 
I have one little sparkly bow I can put on your head, just so that you can be somewhat festive. Yes. And I just found this hat from Asher from last year. So I'll throw that on him. And I'll throw this one on her. The kids can be festive. And I will look like this. <laughs> Looking cute, dude. Perfect. <laughs> Backwards. Perfect. Close. Come on. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Do your moonwalk. Do the moonwalk. Moonwalk! The countdowns have begun. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. Woo! 30 minutes. We're partying hard. 30 minutes till next year. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> He's clearly very tired. <laughs> These are my parents. They wake you up, princess. Oh no. <laughs> Thank you. Baby, shut your Yes, yeah, that's what they wrote it about.